Hello everybody, this is Andrew Geiwitz with Living in Green Bay and your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. I just wrapped up another closing and I thought on the way home today that I would try to show you another main road in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area for a video this week. So before we go and check out one of the main roads on the west side of Green Bay, I'm going to grab a little something to drink and we'll get right to it. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Yep. Yep, that's the stuff. Coca-Cola. Here we go, let's go do our tour. Okay, so here we are. We're starting out on North Oneida Street, which turns into South Oneida Street, go figure, here on the north side of Green Bay. So this road, Oneida Street runs north and south in Green Bay on the west side of Green Bay. And it crosses a number of thoroughfares that go the other way, east and west, in Green Bay as well. So we're reaching our first intersection, which is the intersection of Oneida Street and Shawano Avenue in Green Bay. And as we kind of start out this tour with Oneida Street in Green Bay, what you're going to find on the northern side of it is mostly residential. You'll have um, a number of businesses, Boys and Girls Club, um, and some other things over here as well. And those, you know, those homes in that area are predominantly single family. There's some multifamily. Home prices are kind of in the mid hundred thousands if you were looking to buy in that area. And, uh, you know, kind of your starter home level houses or, um, you know, smaller family houses, three bedroom, two bath, three bedroom, one bath, that kind of thing. So great, you know, great little neighborhoods, you know, have been around for a while and a uh, special, you know, special area of uh, housing in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So we just pulled up to the next main intersection and this is a doozy. This is South Oneida and Mason Street. Mason Street is another really important and um, main street in Green Bay, Wisconsin. On the corner here, you got Walgreens and uh, some other businesses, uh, different schools right around here as well. And uh, yeah, it's a really, you know, you'll cross this intersection quite a bit if you're on the west side of Green Bay using um, any of the main roads. I'm driving in uh, right around four o'clock traffic and it's pretty busy on these roads at around 4 to 6 p.m. most weekdays because you have a lot of people out traveling and you can actually get some decent traffic on these roads in town because they're not a ton of lanes. This road uh, can get kind of busy. Oneida is not as busy as Mason Street is, um, but yeah, they can get busy. So now we're through that one and just driving through some residential areas here, more of what I was talking about in that mid hundred thousand range for houses here and uh yeah some really great houses to check out if you're looking for a starter home or um maybe smaller yard that kind of stuff you're not going to see a ton of really massive houses or anything in here so that's kind of what the you know north north uh northwest side of green bay northwest corner of Green Bay kind of looks like as far as the housing goes, but a lot of cute houses, a lot of brick ranches and um, other homes like that. Just really great, great houses. Okay, so we're pulling up to our next intersection, which is the intersection of 9th Street and Oneida. 9th Street is predominantly a residential street running through um, the west side of Green Bay. And one of uh, my favorite local stores is on 9th Street and that's the Red Owl, which is just down that way a little bit. And uh, it's a great little grocery store. It's been around a long time. And hopefully we'll do a video on that someday in the future as well, because it's just super cool to have local, um, local grocery stores 
that are still functioning in a you know smaller neighborhood setting instead of kind of the massive grocery store model so pretty cool check it out red owl if you want to go and see that it's on 9th street okay guess what our next main intersection is coming up and this is one of the probably most important intersections in the city of green bay and that is going to be the intersection of Oneida Street and Lombardi Avenue. If you recognize that name at all, it has something to do with a certain NFL football team that is also in Green Bay, the Green Bay Packers. And uh, this is the corner of Oneida and Lombardi. And what you will get from here is Lambeau Field to your right. So it's just right out that way. I can see it. And uh, yep, this is a pretty busy intersection. One of the main intersections in all of Green Bay. You will get a lot of Airbnb uh, properties in this area. If you're looking to, you know, come to a game and check it out, you could, you know, find a lot of stuff with Airbnb and other short-term rentals, hotels. We've got the Rush Expo Center here, the Rush Center itself, Lambeau Field, like I said, Lodge Kohler, and the Titletown District are all right off of this road here on Lombardi Avenue. So Oneida Street, if you can find it on the west side, if you stay on it, you're going to end up in a lot of the main attractions for the west side of Green Bay and honestly for Green Bay as a whole. Well, we made it through that intersection and we're just passing the Don Hudson Center where the Packers do their training. And now Oneida Street actually goes into a Schwabenon which is the next municipality over from Green Bay here, but it's really blends together a lot. You'll see the housing prices kind of uptick in Ashwaubenon and you know, they can go way higher. Honestly, as we drive down here on Oneida Street in Green Bay, you're going to from here on out see pretty much all commercial uh, businesses and things like that. There's a really great uh, pho restaurant that we like to go to a lot, and that's pho number one. It's over here on the left. You'll have to check that out and, um, yeah, grab some food there. It's one of the places I love supporting locally as far as food goes, if you like ethnic food and um, Vietnamese uh, flavor as well. Uh, great restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants on this road. Uh, as well, some of the more chain type restaurants are here. You've got your McDonald's and your, you got your Culver's, you've got um, your Buffalo Wild Wings and a lot of the main kind of chain restaurants are here as well. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of restaurants that um, you probably wanna check out are on Oneida Street in Green Bay. So this is why I wanted to show you this street. If you're moving here, this is a really um, good one to check out for getting food and pretty much doing anything you need on the west side of town. There's a Target just over to our right here through that last intersection that we were just in. And uh, so there's a Target right off of this street as well. And uh, the mall, the mall is just on my left as I go down the road here through uh, Willard Drive intersection, uh, Bay Park Mall. It's you know, all malls have seen better days right now, but Bay Park Square Mall is uh, still there and continuing to survive. So Panda Express just popped up here, BK Lounge, uh, i.e. Burger King, and uh, a bunch of other places. So be sure to check out the, you know, Bay Park Square Mall and the area right around there for restaurants and food and all of that kind of thing because it's kind of the main hub for all of that in Green Bay. Who are my Aldi fans out there? I know that there's an Aldi contingency. There is an Aldi on Oneida Street in Green Bay as well. And it's a pretty nice one. Might be the nicest one I've ever seen. So uh, check out Aldi if you're looking for groceries off of Oneida Street. And I'm seeing the car dealership, Best Buy, Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, PetSmart all sorts of stuff. So if you needed to get just about anything in Green Bay, if you found yourself on Oneida Street, you'll probably be able to get what you need. Food, groceries, <laughs> vehicles, pretty much any service industry business is here and uh, you'll be taken care of. 
Okay, we just, we just crossed over Pilgrim Way back there by the Best Buy, and we're just continuing down Oneida Street here, and I'm seeing Panera Bread, Noodles and Company, all sorts of other restaurants as we continue down the road here. PDQ Car Wash, full service car wash. You can really get a, a good clean there and whatnot, so that's another good one. And do not forget, there's a Quick Trip. Quick Trip is on the corner of Hanson Road and Oneida Street. And this is South Oneida Street now in Green Bay. So do not worry, you can find a Quick Trip on Oneida Street in Green Bay as well, which I know is super important to every one of my listeners. So cheers to that. Hey, you know, while I'm waiting here at the light, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and uh, also subscribe to the channel, that would be really great. I think someone just honked at me because they wanted to subscribe. We're really close to our first 100 subscribers, and if we do that, we can unlock some cool perks with the YouTube Design Studio. So if you hook me up with some subscribes here, that would be really awesome. You know what, give me the thumbs up on the video. That way we can share this with more people and I continue to work on that YouTube algorithm. The magicians of YouTube like to see you know, action and views and all that to rank the video higher. Thanks guys. Okay, we are getting close to the end of our Oneida Street tour and uh, passing Starbucks and Subway and Denny's. Hit up Denny's for your late night uh, snackage. Hotels and different things like that. And that gets us to 41, Highway 41 exit and where I'm gonna wrap up the Oneida Street Tour today. It does continue a little bit further as you uh, follow it on a map, but I'm going to wrap it up here because this is essentially the Green Bay part of that tour. And there's another quick trip, ka -ching. If you guys wouldn't mind telling me what your favorite things are to see on Oneida Street, that would be really helpful and cool and just would love to hear your feedback as you uh, check out Oneida Street in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Thanks again for watching Living in Green Bay, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon.